This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. So we have to run to Michael's really quick to get some stuff, but then we'll be able to start. And I'm really excited because I think this is gonna be super cute. It's been a long, long time since I've actually painted properly. So I definitely have to get back into it. Hamsters are not the most agile typically with a little Corellicuma toothpick inside. Very cute as a snacky. It's always nice to have some company when you're doing this type of stuff, so. So I finished these guys. I actually outlined them a lot thicker than I was anticipating. We're just gonna do some blush nails. I have my ColourPop palette here. This is very old. As you can see, there's definitely been progress. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Tiffany and today we are getting back into vlogging. It has been a wonderful, wonderful winter break, but we are officially back to our regularly scheduled program, which is just vlogs about my life. Today I am in bed. Uh, this is my current bed setup. As you can see, very cute, very nice. I have an incredible amount of stuffed animals currently and they're all super pink and super cute and I love all of them. I am here today to give you guys a little bit of a life update because it's been a minute since I vlogged. First of all, I wanna mention that my Switch has magically reappeared back on my bed because I have gotten back into Animal Crossing and it is a little bit of a dangerous lifestyle and I do stream it on Twitch, so recently I've been doing a little bit of that and I'm trying to get back into it. I had a moment last year where I was like super obsessively streaming on Twitch and I don't think I'll be able to do that like almost ever again. I was streaming like three times a week and it's just too much with like YouTube and everything, but I am trying to get back into streaming in general just because like it's really fun and I like talking you guys. Other than that, I also have a super cute bouquet. Oh my god, what is that? You may be asking. This was actually on my desk earlier, but I moved it on my bed. But my boyfriend made me this really, really cute My Melody bouquet for Christmas. And it's literally like the cutest thing ever. It needs a little bit of rearranging, I think, just because it's been jostled around so much. But it is so cute. And it's all these cute My Melodies. And I literally love it. Like, are you kidding me? We got a lot of these cuties in. Whoa. Oh, it's a pin. I was like, what the heck? Got a lot of these cuties in Hawaii at the Sanrio store and it's literally like, ah, I love it so much. This is the cutest My Melody I've ever seen. Like she has three bows and she has frills and she has a little dress on. Like, are you kidding me? So cute. And, 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 and I also got a My Sweet Piano who is so cute. I didn't even know that the Sanrio character existed, but her name is My Sweet Piano. A really odd name. I know, I don't know why they named her that, Um, but she is so cute. Are you kidding? Kidding me? Oh, I just totally touched the lens. Oh, well. This is why I love the Sanrio store because all their stuff is made with such good quality and it's so cute. So these are my new little Sanrio items. Um, this is currently on my bed because I don't have a, like, a cute little vase to put it in, but I want to put it in a vase and then put it over there on my desk. Uh, I think that would be really cute. My desk is kind of messy right now because I was using it to stream last night. Also, the hammies have currently moved into my room. Karen actually wants to say hello. She knocked over her little thing last night, but come here, sweet girl. Ooh. Thanks for the snack. Oh my God, Pyrin, where are you going? <laughs> so I have Pyrin with me. The two Hemis currently have moved into my room. They didn't used to live in here because it's winter time and it was getting really cold downstairs where they were because they were by a window. I moved them upstairs into my room because my room is one of the warmest rooms in the house. And when I came back from Hawaii, it was eight degrees outside in Georgia. It was insane. And I don't know what happened. And their little toes were cold and it broke my heart. So they've been my new two little roommates as of recently and Purin is so she's such a smart hamster so I have to keep like enriching her enclosure because I don't want her to get bored and then get stressed but she's been so stressed out recently and I don't know what to do because I can't get her a bigger cage because it's just like the biggest bit I can find so I got her some new stuff and I have to constantly change her cage or she starts like jumping on the edges and normally if a hamster jumps on the edge of a cage it means that their cage is too small but her cage is very big so I don't know what's going on here's Purin doesn't want to say hi to the camera, I guess. Hello, sweet girl. Hello, my sweet Purin. We have Purin here. She's super tiny. She's the smallest little hammy. She is like 10 grams lighter than Pingu. I don't know what's going on with her. Hello. Hello, hello. Ooh, she's sniffing. She's sniffing something in my hand. I have nothing in my hand. 
<laughs> Kieran, as much as I love her, has actually been a very high maintenance hammy. She requires a lot of attention and interaction from me, which is something that I haven't really noticed from many hammies. They're usually okay being by themselves, but today after coming out to play, she actually slept outside of her homes, which isn't something she does often unless she's very comfortable, so it made me really happy. But a lot of times if she doesn't get enough time to come outside and play, she'll get super antsy and I also have to change up her cage all the time. So I bought her some new items that are going to be in this vlog. And after hanging out with Piran for a bit, we just had a little bit of a lunch break. Today we're having some fried rice that I already kind of ate, a little cake roll for dessert, and some coffee which I've been drinking lately. Super, super tasty. So I've just been in my room today. I've been spending most of my time in my room because I just redid it and it looks so, so good. If you guys didn't see my room makeover video, you guys should watch it because I put so much work into it, so please go watch it. But also, um, I just think it looks so, so nice. However, comma, yesterday when I was streaming, I noticed that there's like absolutely nothing on the walls here. So I need to decorate that because I did this painting when I was in high school and I think it turned out so good. This is like my favorite painting I have in my room. And honestly, I want to do something like really similar again in like a very big canvas. So actually, you know what? I think I want to just do that. I want to make like a bigger meadow canvas. How perfect is this? I literally have this in my room right now have this long canvas and it would look so good up here. Oh my God. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. This is originally a Moomin scene from the show Moomin, but I just love how like all the flowers turned out and I think it looks so cute. And I kind of want to do another one with maybe less reference just because this one was directly copied off of a scene, but I don't think I really need to do that anymore. Like, I feel like I'd be able to come up with my own Moomin scene, or it doesn't even have to be Moomin, but I feel like it'd be nice if it was Moomin. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today, and that is so exciting. This is quite a large canvas, but I've been wanting to get back into painting and stuff. I think for like the new year, I want to do a lot of new things. So I wanna get back into painting, do some different mediums because I was doing polymer clay for way too long and just stuff like that. Um, I have some really exciting things in the works. I got some materials, I'm really excited for that. But yeah, I think we're gonna paint a little moomin today. That is so exciting! Welcome to my desk. We got my canvas. I cleaned off my whole desk. It's looking good. Here's the juice of choice today. It's a little apple one that I actually brought back from Hawaii. This was in my carry-on, but it's so good. I wish we had this here. Okay, so I cleaned off my desk and I have my canvas and I have my paints. My paints are all over here. These are like my old paints. I found that every time that I paint, I need to go and buy new stuff because I don't have enough brushes and I don't have enough paint. So we have to run to Michael's really quick to get some stuff, but then we'll be able to start. And I'm really excited because I think this is gonna be super cute. Okay, so, whoa, it's so bright out here. So I came to Michael's. Wow, I'm always here at Michael's. But my fit's kind of cute today, so I want to show you because I have this cute new Sun shirt. And then I have my little Obsidian Jordans on and it's really cute. But I'm going to go and grab the stuff that I need. Oh my gosh, it's windy too. I'm going to go grab the materials I need. BRB. These are my brushes of choice. I feel like for the big ones, you don't need like an expensive one because they're like all the same. But I got two nicer, smaller ones. So yeah, and I don't know if I need any canvases couple canvases here too. I know I don't need like 10, so I don't know what to do. Honestly, I want to do like a really big Moomin one at some point. I don't know when I'll have the time, but maybe like later this year. This one's 30 by 40, but I kind of want to do it. I always use the basic white one just because I feel like no matter how good quality the white acrylics are, they're never good enough, so I just get this. This is my brand of choice for acrylics. Dude, after I finish this Moomin one, I literally want to do a huge one, but like I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I owe some of my family members paintings too, so is this my painting era? Maybe. Okay, so I got my setup. I have my paints here, my little drinky drink, my gloss, of course. And then we have some little cucumbers with a little Kurilakuma toothpick inside. Very cute as a snacky. We have water, my original painting that I'm basing this off of, basically, my big canvas. And then two of these little guys because they are holding my paintbrushes for me. But I think I am ready. But before we start painting, I'd like to give a quick word to today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. You guys know I absolutely adore Squarespace. They are the perfect platform to help you make your own website, and they've been a major influence in me being able to continue making art. I currently sell my art online with a website that Squarespace helped me make, and they can help you make yours too, and they make it so easy and simple. Squarespace has amazing templates for you to choose from that can make building your own website hassle-free, and I've built two websites with them, and I could not love them more. As a full-time illustrator, you can also make your portfolio online with Squarespace, so if you guys want 
want to check out Squarespace for yourself, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and use the code Tiffany Wang to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It is super easy to use and I cannot recommend Squarespace enough. So thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into it. I don't really have a palette, but I do have this, which is a little plate. And I think I'm literally just going to wing it. I'm thinking of doing like a sky up here and maybe like a wavier meadow and then some different layers of green and then just putting the flowers on top. I very specifically wanted to do a rainbow as well. So many grand ideas right now. I need a lot of blue. Let's get this mixed. Mix in a lot of blue together. I know I'm gonna have to do more than one layer for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start painting it. But I feel like this should be fine. Like it's pretty, I feel like it's pretty simple. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more than one layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and just paint. And then while it dries, I'm gonna mix up my rainbow colors and we're gonna paint some clouds in here too, I think. Cause I think that would be cute. I literally hate when canvases have naked edges. It bothers me so much. I make it a very big point in my paintings to make sure this is done. All right, so there's the first layer for the sky. It's a blue we got it going on i've had this long canvas for literally so long and i like never knew what to do with it i'm really glad that i finally found a use for it this is the second coat for the canvas so patchy no i got paint on my little guy oh no <laughs> i also got it on the table a little bit cucumber time while waiting for the canvas to dry, which has actually taken an absurd amount of time, I've been working on some commissions that I've been doing for just some friends. My commissions aren't typically open to like the public, it's just for friends and stuff, but I just did this scene from Your Lie in April and I think it looks really cute. I'm really happy with how it came out, so I'm about to send it to my friends, get paid, yippee, but yep, still waiting for stuff to dry. Taking forever. It's been a long, long time since I've actually painted properly, so I definitely have to get back into it and get the hang of it again. One of the reasons my paint was taking so long to dry was because I was applying my coats so, so thick, and I didn't realize it yet at this time, but I will later, so that's something I will keep in mind for my future paintings from now on. It's just been so long that I've kind of lost the feel for it, but it's all coming back to me. We're working on the little rainbow today. I really wanted this rainbow in the background, especially after visiting Hawaii, just because I just thought it was so cute, and I love the way it looks. Looks. So we're painting a rainbow and one of the most annoying things about acrylic is how it dries super quickly So it's really tricky getting this rainbow all blended in and it actually required a couple of coats I think I got it to end up looking pretty nice So I'm pretty happy with it and now we're gonna just paint in some of the mountains for this whole painting I'm basically just basing it off of my past Moomin painting And one of the things about the mountains is that they also have to be blended in the background But because this painting has a much bigger surface area than my past canvas, it's really tricky So I had to keep mixing up and color matching the sky which amazingly i was actually able to do because i remember it being very hard with acrylic paint but i guess i must have actually improved somewhere along the way so that's super nice to see this is pretty much what i spent the rest of my day doing and i'm gonna wind down with some journaling <sighs> I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna do some writing. I don't actually normally write during this time. One of the nice things I like about my current desk setup is that I'm able to move my keyboard out of the way and then I can write here. This is my notebook that I've been writing in. I actually really wanna finish this one because I just got this one the other day and I think it's so cute. The inside isn't as cute as this one though, but I just love the idea of like, I don't know, writing in one of these. It looks like an old school, school notebook and for the longest time when I was journaling I would use like very thick feeling journals because I like the feeling of accomplishments but as I vlog more and get busier with life it gets harder and harder to write so I've started opting for these thinner ones so I can feel a sense of accomplishment when I finish one and a lot of times my motivation for finishing a journal is getting a new one that I want to move into. So I love this one. This was actually the last one they had in stock. So there's actually like little scuff marks on it and stuff, but that's okay. It was only literally $2.50. But until then, I'm finishing up the Sumiko Garashi one. It has like the cutest stationery. It is the same on every page. And I actually don't like this cover. So I think when I finish writing or just whenever I have time, I'm going to rebind it into different cover just because I do know how to do that. But I'm gonna do some writing it's 7 12 right now but i end the days with what time it is that i wrote and these have all been like 1 a.m 12 a.m feeling a little motivated so i'm gonna just write a little bit today is oh my gosh my hands are a little shaky from the gym january 5th 
2023 and is today Thursday? Oh my gosh, it's Thursday already. The hammies are gonna get their stuff tomorrow. So I'm gonna start my entry by saying that I just got back from the gym. I just try to document my life because I don't know, I really enjoy it. And I think romanticizing your own life is a really nice way to get through it sometimes. My handwriting has gotten really, really bad. <laughs> Since graduating high school, I never really need to handwrite anything. So, oh my gosh, I hear a hamster drinking water. We have a little hammy with us today. Lately, I've been letting the hammies just kind of roam my desk because both my hammies are really well behaved and they don't really chew on anything. I have a lot of wires about, but other than just exploring, they don't really do much else. So I've been having them just walk around on my desk. My desk is pretty small too, so I'm able to monitor them the entire time. They're also relatively potty trained, so they haven't had accidents in a long time. So I let them just hang out. You might see Pingu running around right now because he's just on my desk. Pingu, come here. Pingu, come say hello. Hello, sweet boy. Hello, my sweet hemi. Cutest little man. Do you want to go in your box and hang out? <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of blocking him. It's always nice to have some company when you're doing this type of stuff. So since the hammies are my new roommates, they're just going to hang out with me. <laughs> Excuse me. The only thing is that I hope he doesn't walk into my writing. Ah, like he just did. Because the ink is a little bit wet, but his toes don't typically touch the wet paint. So he's probably okay. Or wet ink. I guess it's not really paint. But I'm just going to finish up writing for today. <clears throat> Hello, Hemi. Hello. Want some pets? You're all up in my biz. You know, my sweet boy. I think he's ready to go home, though. Do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? You can go home. Go in your box, please. And then we'll go home. Oh. <laughs> he's digging in his box. Let's go. Good morning everyone. So I started my next morning with just some painting before I did my daily tasks. First thing I'm going to do is paint the big green space where all the flowers are going to go and it's going to be so cute and so pretty. And I'm basically just sculpting out where I want these hills to go. I didn't have a great idea of what shape the hills should be because I couldn't really envision it so I kind of just did it as I went. But we're going in with this very chirpy green color and we're just kind of adding more grass where I think it should be. By this point I feel like I kind of got back into the swing of things with painting. I kind of understand paint a bit more now despite this area being a little bit too thick. I think for the most part I'm kind of getting the feel of acrylic again and I think that's one of the hardest parts about painting because I was actually talking to a friend recently about how painting isn't necessarily beginner friendly because it's really difficult to kind of get the feeling for it and a lot of it is about water control and hand control which you kind of learn from just painting a lot but I've been painting for a long long time and it feels really nice to get back into it even though I kind of took like low-key a four-year break from it because I didn't do much of it in college but I'm going to paint in these green hills and I'm actually going to paint in a couple different layers of hills so as you can see I'm using a slightly darker shade of green I know it's a bit hard to tell on camera I'm trying to do a layering effect that I did on my original painting in this one as well just to give it some depth and after the medium green hills I'm going to be doing a darker hill as well and just kind of making these shapes as I go I wasn't really sure how I should go about doing this because the aspect ratio of this canvas was a bit strange I think I kind of figured it out and after I got the first layer painted, I decided to do some of my more daily tasks and one of them involves taking care of the hammies. Hello and good morning. It's the next day and today I need to clean the hammies cage so we're gonna do that. Both of the hammies are awake and I don't know why because they're not normally awake. Pirin is really good at coming whenever she's called but Pingu is out and about too and he's usually not. Their cages are definitely overdue for a cleaning so I'm gonna do that today really quickly. As you can see it's all really messy and I got them some new stuff as well so I think they'll like it. Hello my sweet Pirin. Hello, sweet girl. So I wanted to do a couple things differently. Purin's cage is a blue bin and I actually want to change it back to this light colored one that I have here. Um, obviously I need to change their bedding and stuff. 
and I got them some new toys. So Pingu has some tubes and a little underground burrow thing because he really loves to dig. And then Piran doesn't actually like to dig at all. She always just walks around, but she likes to climb, which is really funny. She's on top of her little house thing all the time trying to climb. So I got her another structure to climb. Um, and I also bought her a little ladder, but that won't be here for a little bit. So I'm gonna change out their bedding really quick. This is my first time changing their bedding inside my room because they usually live downstairs. The inside of their boxes are pretty nasty too. This one is Pingu's favorite. It's a cute little bobo <laughs> blind box box. For Pingu Bear, he is extremely clean. I'm very impressed by how clean he is. He hasn't like messed up any of his structures by being a nasty hammy or anything like that. So I got him some plastic tubes because I've had tubes before when I was younger for hamsters. They would always get them super dirty and it just got like super gross and I didn't enjoy them. But because he likes to dig so much and he's such a clean hamster, I figured that it would be okay. And for Pirin, I wouldn't get them a little house that has like a little flat bottom attached to it. I only like getting these houses that are empty on the bottom in case I need to grab them for any reason. Because like sometimes you need to get your hammy out and it's like if they're stuck in a house, it's kind of annoying. You can't like shake them out or anything. You just have to wait for them to come out. But Piran always comes as soon as I call her name. So there's no issue there. <laughs> She's very smart. So he's like, I want to get my house changed, please. Oh, he's sniffing on my fingers. Cutie man. Kieran's wheel really needs a good rinse. Both the Hemis have clean new houses now. Pingu's kind of freaking out. He's okay, baby. But I'm gonna put their new stuff in here, which is so exciting. Sit down, please. But yeah, they have new bedding. Pingu gets a lot more bedding just because he likes to dig, but I'll probably give him some more. But I've never seen Piran dig or use it, and she just steps on it and it gets really, really flat. So I don't like to give her too, too much. I have a good amount of things. This one is for Purin and it's her new little tree house. I think she's gonna like it. It does look like there's some assembly, but look at this, right? Where you put like the stuff. I'm just gonna start gluing stuff because I feel like it's not that complicated. I'm just gonna use the glue like this because I'm kind of lazy. But I think she'll have a good time climbing this. According to what I saw online, this is like a little seesaw so you can attach this. I ended up taking the little house to just get hot glued in the other room, but after assembly, this is what it looked like, and it seems like Piran is really enjoying it, especially this little swing aspect, which I think is super cute. And she immediately tried to climb the thing because I'm sure she saw that it was a tall structure and something she could climb. Of course, first, climbing requires a good bath, so here's her rolling around being super duper cute, but eventually I did get some footage of her climbing the structure, and I'm really glad that it seems like she likes it. I know that a structure like this would not be ideal for many hammies, but after having watched her for a couple of months, it seems like this is something that she would have really liked and I usually buy items for my hamsters based off of their personalities and I've never had a hamster that likes to climb and be high up as much as she does so I was really excited to show her this but she took some time on her little swing. I thought this was super cute. She really liked swinging around. It's a really small structure so I really wouldn't recommend this for honestly even a regular sized dwarf hamster. Kieran is on the much smaller end of a hamster. She's like 40 grams almost so felt like this could probably fit her but even for a small hammy like her this is definitely a little bit small she does some weird climbing tactics to get on here and i saw a lot of reviews for this saying that's better for mice so i definitely think that that's true because hamsters are not the most agile typically and i actually wasn't sure if she wanted to go up here so i put a little treat up there to see if it could convince her but it seemed like that actually didn't motivate her as much as just wanting to be high up because after a while she did end up climbing up there and despite knocking over the treat she didn't seem to care much because she just kept going and i'm super proud of her, but it definitely was a little bit difficult. But since getting this little house for her, she's been up here a couple of times and sometimes I even see her sleeping up there. So I think it's super cute and I'm really glad that she likes it. I'm going to get a better ladder for her for this little house though, just because it seems like it's so difficult for her to get up and down. And I think she would like to be up there more if it was easier, but she's just been jumping up and down lately. And I'm really glad that she likes this little house. I hope she gets a lot of use out of it. And overall, it seems like something that she's gonna have a lot of fun with. So that's that's really exciting. And now moving on to Pingu and his special gifts. OMG, I'm so excited to get this one. This one's like from that nice brand. Oh, 
It's so cute. It's so big. Oh my god. Ingu, you're about to get the funnest little item. A little underground item. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So it is time for Pingu's turn. I gave him some of his tubes and I just left them above ground for now because I'm not sure what he wants to do with them and he can bury them if he so chooses but immediately he wanted to get in these little tubes and see what was going on and I just think it's so great that I finally have a hamster that I can trust with a tube because Purin likes to pee on her wheel so much is not trusted with plastic. I actually ended up giving her one of these tubes just to see what she would do and immediately she peed in it just like I expected but Pingu is such a clean hammy so I'm so proud of him for that and he can be trusted with little plastic items so i also found him later eating a little snack inside of his sandbox i'm not sure why but i was on facetime so enjoy the little conversation that i was having who is in ball mode he's just eating his little items eating his little snacks in his bathroom why do hammies only like to eat food in their bathroom why are your cheeks so why are your cheeks so fat oh my god Pingu, Pingu, come out here right this instant. You are looking different. Oh my goodness gracious. Pingu looks like a new man, a new fat man. After a while, he wanted to explore oh. and I did bury his little underground structure in there and it goes super deep. So I left some of it exposed and I ended up giving him more bedding after this video was over just so that he has enough space to kind of hide and stuff. But it seemed like he really liked it too. I found him sleeping in here the last couple of days and I get to keep an eye on him, which is super fun because then I can see what he's up to. But both the hammies seem like they really enjoy their gifts. So I am very, very happy about that. And now I have two happy hammies and Piran has not been jumping on our cage since this, so hopefully this keeps her entertained for quite a bit. And it's nighttime, so it's time to start my little nightly routine. I wouldn't even call it a routine, more of just what I'm doing tonight, but I'm eating one of these little panda ice creams because they are so, so tasty. And they're shaped like a little panda, so I wanna show you. Because I used to eat these in Shanghai, and then they have them here now. And they're literally so cute. Like, do you see this? It's a little panda. So I'm gonna eat one of these to wind down the night. It's chocolate and vanilla and it's so, so tasty. And it's so cold, I can like feel it on my hand right now, which is crazy, but. Also, I like to snatch his waist every time I eat one of these. So I will come back with a snatched panda waist. She is beauty, she is grace. She is an unrealistic, unachievable beauty standard. But um, I'm gonna eat the rest of this now. So I will see you guys in the morning with more Moomin painting. I don't know why I'm moving this as if this ice cream is me now, but goodbye. So it is the next day and we are going back to painting. This is the last step that I have before I paint the little Moomins. I'm just finishing up the little green area and I keep switching back and forth between colors. So if you ever see me doing that, don't worry, the colors all end up solid. I just couldn't really make up my mind because Again, I haven't painted in so long and I wasn't really sure what I was doing, but overall I got this darker green to kind of work out. So I'm kind of sculpting in the big hill that the Moomin is going to be sitting on. And this part was very tiring because at this point I did not want to paint this green part anymore. It just took so long and I was ready for it to be done. Okay, so kind of random, but I actually changed like all the colors so that I matched them to the base color. So it's a little bit less chirpy than it was before. So I was looking at my original painting and I just feel like this is closer and it looks better. So I just kind of went over the layers and it didn't take me as long because the base colors were already green. So there weren't that many spots to fill in. And now that I finished the background, it is finally time to paint the Moomin. This is so exciting because this is definitely the second to best part. I think the best part is filling it in with flowers, which is super duper fun for me, but we're going to be painting this little guy. Moomin is like this off-white color. He might look white on camera, but I mixed a little bit of gray in there, but we're gonna have to do a couple of different layers to get him opaque, especially with this deep green background. And I'm starting to wonder if this white acrylic paint that's the basic brand is actually just as good as the Liquitex brand because I don't actually remember, but I don't remember having to do this many coats of everything last time I did this painting. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back to Michael's to check that out and compare and contrast the Liquitex paint to this because I do feel like you probably get better paint for your money's worth, but I don't remember. 
I feel like I always go back and forth about this, so we'll have to test it out. But I'm going to paint in the little guy's hat and do all these things. And I do have a little bit of an outline here, as you can tell. I just traced it from my original Moomin painting because I figured there's no need in me drawing it twice, you know? I'm going to actually end up altering some of these colors. So if you see me painting over it like I am right now, don't be too alarmed. I just decided that the colors are not right. And I typically don't have to do this, but because I'm basing it off of an old painting and it's been so, so incredibly long since I've painted, I've kind of forgotten how to do some of this so that's why it was a little bit of a struggle for me enjoy my nails in these clips because this is going to be the last time you're going to see me with my sparkly glitter nails with the amazing rhinestones on them because i'm actually going to be doing my nails later in this video and they're going to change so that's exciting but as you can see i'm just going to paint in the basic shapes for these guys and i kind of just worked with the outline and filled in everything from there because i don't really believe in drawing everything out when you're painting just because you're painting and a lot of times pencil marks actually hold you back so i tried to just do my best and i'm also going to be adding some line work as well so it's going to really change how we see this painting after and i'm a bit nervous about it because it's been quite a bit since i've done some line work i don't know if my hand is as steady as it was before but hopefully it will be so we will see when we get to it and now it's finally time for the line work probably the most precise part of this entire painting because the flowers you can mess them up and no one will really tell but the line work is very important. I tried my best with this and I actually struggled a good amount in the beginning and it was a bit discouraging because I used to be so so good at this and one of the things I think is that despite this brush being a double zero it actually isn't as thin as I need it to be especially compared to the original painting which is what I was basing it off of so I'm not actually entirely happy with how this line work ended up even though it's even and I guess that is the most important part to me it isn't as thin and delicate as I would like it to be but at the end this this painting had a lot of flowers in it so maybe it did need a thick outline. I'm really glad that my steady hand kind of came back to me and this was a really strange experience because I used to feel so comfortable with a brush in my hand but this time coming back to painting after four years of not it felt really different and by this point I felt like I was mostly back into it but doing this intricate line work made me realize that I'm not all the way back yet where I used to be but that's okay because I don't mind taking the steps to kind of get better at this again and get back to where I left off so I'm excited to be starting my painting journey with you guys and I actually have a bunch of painting ideas that I want to do including a giant Moomin one that I actually am going to be starting after I finish this one so I hope you guys like this Moomin painting because you're going to be seeing a couple more on my channel and I actually had to break this video up into two parts so you will see more Moomin painting in the next vlog as well. I'm pretty proud of myself for being able to pull it off somehow but after this step of the painting is just going to be spending a lot of time painting the little tiny flowers which is probably the best part in my opinion and what gives these paintings so much personality so i am so excited to be getting into it and i'm excited to share that with you guys as well so I finished these guys. I actually outlined them a lot thicker than I was anticipating but I feel like it'll be fine. The line's a little thick but like <laughs> I'm gonna add the flowers. We're gonna see how I feel about it. If I really end up hating the thick outline I can try to fix it. We're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Time to add some flowers and I think I'm gonna stream some of this on Twitch tonight because I feel like this is gonna be a long long process so. But time to, time to add their little flowers. I need to put on my lip gloss before I vlog. <laughs> Hello everyone, good morning, how are you all? It's actually afternoon, it's way past morning, but um, I am here, I'm redoing my nails today because I love having long nails, but I think at some point I start feeling literally like overwhelmed and disgusted with how long they are. And that's when I know it's time for me to trim them down and do a new set. So they're getting pretty mangled right now, as you can see, cause I'm taking off all of the gems. So it's looking chaotic. I'm gonna redo a new set. I'm gonna do a very simple set. We're just gonna do some blush nails. I have my ColourPop palette here. This is very old, but I'm excited because I haven't had a pair of nails that don't have any like little things on them for a while. And so I'm going to be able to have nice smooth nails. It's just gonna be a nice change of pace But last night I was painting my Moomin painting and I was streaming it on Twitch and it went so incredibly well I was so so happy with the outcome of that and I was gonna vlog it But I figured it was probably better for me to just stream because it was already at night The lighting was already bad So I was like, I'm just gonna stream it and I think I'm gonna do that again today because it was so fun I wanted to redo my nails
thumbnails first, not only for stream, but also for the vlog because they're getting a little bit chaotic and I'd like a new set. <laughs> I looked up a couple videos last night on how to do them. They look pretty simple. Little necklace tour. This one's from Ana Luisa, but this one, my mom had a lock. It's an LV lock and she just had it because I think she needed the bag that she put it in for something. So she took it out. And last night when I came home, I saw it on her like nightstand. I was like, what is this? I was like, this would be a really cute necklace. So I took it and she was like, oh my God, it's so cute. Cause I just put it on one of my regular necklaces and clearly it, it hangs this way. So it's not perfect. But at some point I want to go and find a, a like silver jump ring, put it on. Cause I think it'd be really cute. But yeah, it just kind of goes with my silver era, but I'm just taking all my gems off. I want to start like another craft project already, but I also want to finish my moon painting. So I think I'm going to do a longer live stream today. I streamed pretty long yesterday too. Stream for like two and a half hours, but that's not really long for me to paint. It's just really long for me to stream. Probably gonna do something similar again tonight. Thing I wanna do is get these nails off. Also, I haven't really had an interest in like doing an intricate nail art in a while, just because I don't think I've really found a design that I like have to have. I just feel a little uninspired. So I just wanna have a nice set. But I usually have an idea for the next set I wanna do all the time. So pretty excited about blush nails. I just think they'll be nice and simple. I ordered a nice base coat color. I got a bunch of them. They're like little jelly nail polishes and they're so tiny. Like look at how small they are. Why are they so tiny and petite? But I'm gonna be using those today. I never really had a base color before. I cannot get this one off. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, I just got all the gems off and these are my natural nails. So I have to be a little more gentle with them. So looking real rough. Some of the silver is still left on these nails. So yeah, it's looking real bad. But I'm gonna clean them up. We're gonna make them look good. And I will check back with you guys once they're done. Hello, hello. <laughs> Um, it's been a couple of days. The lighting is being super crazy. Oh, I didn't even grab what I was talking about. So, do I keep, I don't wanna stay where the lighting is super weird. Okay, maybe it's better if I'm just back here. Hello, hello. So I have the paintings that I was working on. This one is the one that I finished obviously a while ago. And then this one is the one that I've been working on. As you can see, there's definitely been progress, but also it's taking much longer than I anticipated. And I was originally going to have this video that I'm filming right now be like a vlog of me finishing it, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm gonna work on it a bit more today, but I think wherever we get to with this one might be, but I think I'm actually going to split this video into two parts. So it's gonna be like a two week vlog of me finishing up this painting. I know the lighting is super weird, or maybe it looks super good. I can't tell. I'll have to see post editing, but this is what it looks like yesterday. I redid my nails. Also, I haven't been vlogging me painting this properly. So I will do that today. And you guys will see some of the footage because I've been streaming it all on Twitch, so it's been a little bit difficult. So for whatever reason, it escaped my mind to film what the finished nails actually look like, but you can see them in this clip right here. This is a little sneak peek of the next video because I'm actually splitting this movement painting up into two videos because it would definitely take me way, way too long to finish this entire painting in one video. Here's how the blush nails look. I think they look great and I'm really happy with how they came out. It was super easy to do. I basically just did a base coat and then I put some little blush on top of it or pink eyeshadow and I'm not sure why I didn't film it. I really apologize because it was such a simple tutorial to do. Next time, I will definitely make sure to show you guys how I did it. This is a little sneak peek of the next video for next week though. I'm going to be painting a bunch of little flowers and I streamed a lot of me painting on Twitch. There's currently like three hours, maybe more of footage of me painting and also talking about various things. And I've been trying to be much more active on Twitch. So you guys should definitely follow me there if you haven't already because I've been streaming a lot of variety stuff. I've been painting, I've been playing games. I've been playing Animal Crossing a lot as well as a new game called Melatonin so you guys should definitely come check me out on stream and I'm there on nights where I'm not editing so you guys can definitely find me there and we can chat and have fun. But this is some of the footage of what it looks like to paint the flowers. It definitely takes me much much longer than obviously what I've consolidated it into but I am super excited to be finishing this painting and adding all of the movement details. I'm going to be adding all of the flowers in the next video so definitely check that out and stay tuned and follow me on Instagram and stuff if you haven't already because 
because I'm going to be talking a lot more about stuff there. But this painting process is, although super tedious, something that I really, really enjoy. So I'm super happy that I've had a chance to get back into painting. And I have a question for you guys about future paintings because I'm planning on doing a couple of more of these longer videos and also longer projects. And I'm thinking of breaking up a single project into a couple different videos if they span over a couple weeks, just like how I would normally vlog my weeks. But would you guys rather see that and just how I live along with how I paint and do whatever project it is that I'm doing? Or would you rather have me just finish one project per video and just film it that way? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. That would be super, super helpful to me, especially for a celebration video that is going to be coming up. I am super thankful for all of you and I really want to thank you guys for all of your support. So please let me know what you guys would prefer down in the comments below and I will get to working on that video very, very soon. And it is all thanks to you guys. But again, I'm not going to include all of the flower painting footage in this video. So definitely check out the next video and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying this little movement so far because I know I have. And let's go ahead and get to the outro. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because I'm going to split this video into two parts of me painting the little movement. So thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. This was just like a week in my life because I've been wanting to start making these videos again. I think it's been super fun. So yeah, but I will see you guys next week for the second part of these Moomin paintings. I think they're coming out really cute and I'm pretty happy with them. So yeah, more progress to come on Moomin and such. And I will see you guys in the next video. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Bye everyone. More Moomins to come.